We claim not to like each other. But we never have a problem getting between those sheets. We never have a problem getting between those sheets. See, if we have so many problems with each other, why are so many biscuits being buttered, if that's the case? Black woman, you are a hypocrite if you're going to tell me the black man is not up to your expectations, but I see you between his sheets. See, if you can't open your heart to a man, why would you open your legs? We have to wake up. We have to begin to understand, overstand, and understand that it is our job to build. One of the reasons we don't get the respect we want from our African women, one of the reasons we don't get the respect that we want from our African women, one of the reasons we don't get the respect from our African women is because we are not providing for them collectively as men should do for their race family. Let me say it again. If we want the respect of our queens, if we want the respect of our goddesses, if we want the respect of our women, if we want the respect of our ladies, if we want the respect of our empresses, we have to begin to provide for them. Black women shouldn't be working two and three jobs. Black women shouldn't be raising five and six kids by themselves. Not to include women who keep the fathers away. That's a different conversation. Not to include women who keep the fathers away, but women who want men involved in the raising of their children. Brothers, we got to do better. We got to do better. We can't say that we are proud black men and yet African women are out here slaving for the white man. No black woman should have to go to an alien race no African woman should have to go to a man of another race to get a job. When a black woman begs a white man for a job, that is an automatic insult to the black man. I said when the black woman has to go to the man of an alien race and beg a man of another race to employ her so she can feed our children. I said our children. Not his kids, not my kids, not your kids, but our kids. Not his kids, not my kids, not your kids, but our kids. Whenever a black woman has to get employed by another race, that is an automatic insult to the black man. It is an automatic insult, brother. It is an automatic insult. We have to do better. We have to do better. We have to put the black woman in her rightful place. We have to put the black woman in her rightful place because until she is where she needs to be, our daughters will never believe in us the way that they should. Until black mothers are where they need to be, black girls will never believe in black men the way that they're supposed to. If we want our girls to be proud to be black women, if we want our little girls to love and honor the black man, the black man has to love and honor her mother. When our daughters turn on the YouTube and they see black men condemning black women, when our daughters turn on the YouTube and they see black men condemning black women. And let us be clear. Let us be clear. Rejection of the black woman comes in many forms. Rejection of the black woman comes in many forms, whether it's the black man telling you you're not high valued enough, whether it's the black woman telling the black woman she's not high valued enough. That's a form of rejecting the black woman. See, criticism taken too far is rejection. Criticism taken too far is rejection. And we got a whole generation of black men. A whole generation of young brothers out here calling themselves conscious whose favorite pastime is to hurl insults at the black woman. Come on, brother. How are we going to get together as a family in a community when all you want to do is sit around and remind the black woman of what's wrong with her? 
But when the black woman reminds you of what's wrong with you, she's working for the white man. When the black woman reminds you of what's wrong with you, she's a European. When the black woman reminds you of what's wrong with you, she needs to sit down and be humble and submit. But you want her to sit still. But you want her to sit still while you insult her. You want her to sit there while you talk about how she's too fat or too skinny or too light or too dark or the nose is too big or she's asking too many questions or she want a black man who can do this and do that and do this and do that. If it ain't good for her to do it, why is it good for you to do it, brother? I'm not endorsing a double standard. If it's not good for the black woman to publicly condemn and criticize the black man, why is it okay for the black man to publicly condemn and criticize the black woman? If she can't do it, why is it okay for you to do it? When the black woman criticizes the black man, she's working for the white power structure. But when the black man criticizes the black woman, he's looking out. For the manosphere. Come on, brothers. We can't have a double standard. What's good for the goose must be good for the gander. What's good for the goose must be good for the gander. Black man and black woman together. If we're going to criticize, let's criticize everybody. If we're going to condemn, let's condemn everybody. If we're going to criticize, let's criticize everybody. If we're going to condemn, let's condemn everybody, brothers and sisters. Understand, overstand, and understand. And black woman, you got to stop letting brothers butter your biscuits if they not living up to your expectations now. Black woman, you can't let the brothers keep buttering your biscuits. Don't you let them put no butter on your biscuits, sister. Don't you let them put no butter on your biscuits if he's not living up to the expectations. Same thing for the black man. Don't you butter that sister's biscuits if she's not conducting herself in the way that a queen should. But we can't keep condemning each other, but ain't nobody got no problem laying down with each other. See, that's the hypocrisy of the black man and the black woman. That's the hypocrisy of the black man and the black woman. That's the hypocrisy of the black man and the black woman. We want to sit around and hurl insults at one another. Why is it? We don't like anything about the opposite sex in the African race. Why is it we can condemn and hurl insults at each other in the African race? The black man can condemn the black woman and the black woman can condemn the black man. We claim not to like each other, but we never have a problem getting between those sheets. We never have a problem getting between those sheets. See, if we have so many problems with each other, why are so many biscuits being buttered, if that's the case? Black woman, you are a hypocrite if you're going to tell me the black man is not up to your expectations, but I see you between his sheets. See, if you can't open your heart to a man, why would you open your legs? If you can't open your heart to a man, why would you open your legs, black man? If you don't believe you can build a future with a black woman, why are you planting seeds in her soil? If you don't believe you can build a future with a black woman, why did you plant your seed? Why did you plant your seed in that woman's soil? Why did you trust her to bring forth life if you believe she's not worthy of sitting on your throne? If you don't believe she's worthy of sitting on your throne, why did you plant your seed in her soil? That is a contradiction. That is a contradiction. Black woman, if you can't open your heart to a black man, why would you open your legs? That is a contradiction. That is a contradiction. See, the black community will continue to be a dysfunctional organism. The black community in El Haj Malik El Shabazz Malcolm X, my ancestor right now, my pan-African nationalist ancestor, El Haj Malcolm, is, he got my back right now. 
See, Malcolm used to live in North Philadelphia too. Y'all forget that. Brother L. Hodge used to live in North Philadelphia too. Y'all forget that. See, Malcolm was hated on by Negroes. I'm hated on by Negroes. Malcolm used to be a media assassin. I'm a media assassin. But let's get back to the point. The black community will continue to be a dysfunctional organism until black men and black women learn how to get along when they are outside of the sheets. You understand me? You got to get along outside of the bedroom. See, that one or two hours y'all spend smacking bellies, that one or two hours y'all spend making babies, that's a contradiction if you ain't making families. Making babies without making families is going to keep the black community dysfunctional. Making babies without making families is going to keep the black community dysfunctional. Don't act like you got a problem with the black man if you ain't got no problem giving him none of your honeycomb hideout. If you ain't got no problem giving up your honey, if you ain't got no problem letting him into your honeycomb hideout, I don't want to hear no criticisms and complaints about the black man outside the bedroom. See, when you horizontal, when you horizontal laying on your back, looking up at the stars, you ain't got a concern in the world about the black man. When the black woman is horizontal laying on her back, looking up at the stars, Legs open, you ain't got a concern in the world about the black. You love everything about the black man when you horizontal. When you horizontal, you love everything about the black man. When you looking up at the stars, when you looking up at the stars, and he massaging you with that shango stick, you ain't got a concern in the world. But as soon as you get vertical again, as soon as you stand up and get vertical now, as soon as you stand up and you look side to side, now you got a problem with him. If you ain't got a problem with him when you're horizontal on your back, why do you have a problem with him when you're vertical on your feet? If you ain't got a problem with him when you're horizontal on your back, why do you have a problem with him when you're vertical on your feet? Same thing with you, black man. Same thing for you, bro. When you buttering her biscuits, when she letting you butter her biscuits, when she giving you some of that honey, when you up in those cookies... When you up in those vanilla cookies and those butter almond and butter pecan and sweet brown sugar and caramel and cinnamon and nutmeg cookies. When you in those pistachio cookies, those African vanilla African lemon cookies, you ain't got a concern in the world, brother. When you horizontal on top of that woman, you ain't got a concern in the world. But the minute you get vertical and you stand up on your feet, all of a sudden you got a problem with her again. Why you ain't got a problem with it when you vertical? Why you ain't got a problem with it when you vertical? All your problems, excuse me, why you got a problem with it when you, when you horizontal? All your problems is when you get vertical. All your problems is when you get vertical. Listen, if we have such a big black male-female relationship issue, let's stop having relations until we work out the problems. Black man, you want to make the black woman con conform to your expectations? Stop getting horizontal with her at night. She'll have to pay attention. Black woman, you got a problem with the black man not living up to your expectations? Stop getting horizontal with him at night. Stay vertical. Because we can only talk to each other face to face. That's vertical, side to side, up and down. Let's get vertical. But see, we don't want to do that. We hypocrites. We want to complain about the black woman and then we want to lay with the black woman. We want to complain about the black woman and then we want to butter the biscuits of the black woman. Black woman, you want to complain about the black man, but then you want to ride his rodeo at night. That's a that's contradiction, sister. That's hypocrisy, sister. You can't sit up here and say that you can't stand the black man. He's not a provider. He's no good. But you can't wait. To assume the position at night. You can't wait to assume the position at night. We got to understand, overstand, and understand. 
We got to understand, overstand, and understand. We got to understand, overstand, and understand, brothers and sisters, as I've told you so many times. We got to take care of the business of the black family before the back shots. There could be no back shots. There could be no buttering of the biscuits until the business of the black family has been handled. There can be no buttering of the biscuits until the business of the black family has been handled. It must be politics over Punani, consciousness over the cookies. It must be revolution over romance. I am live in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm glad to be back. First visit since January 19, 2015, MLK Day keynote. But brothers and sisters, we have to stop being romantic hypocrites. Stop being romantic hypocrites. If you want your cookies crushed, stop crushing the black man's public image, black woman. If you want your cookies crushed, stop crushing the black man's public image. If you want your biscuits buttered, then you need to start buttering up the black man. Black man, if you want the royal back shot, you need to start having your sisters back. That's what I'm talking about.